moly, man, that was an experience. That actually uh, it surprised me, particularly the studio shots. I gotta tell you guys what's going on here, all right? Obviously, we're in the middle of the HQ at the moment, and the setup that is over here it looks amazing. Is a large scale, 85 inch, this is Sony XBR 8K capable display, and the reason it's sitting there is because this is the announcement of our uh, equipment choice, of our collaboration here with Sony. Uh, we are shooting exclusively on the new A1. 8K capable camera, and that was a little taste of what you can do with this particular camera when enjoyed in the maximum resolution. But we've actually gone ahead and swapped out every single one of our cameras for Sony A1s. That includes the Unbox Therapy set and the Lou Later set down at the other end of the studio. So it's been a massive upgrade for us, courtesy of Sony. Man, the satisfaction of clipping a lens on for someone who's never had an interchangeable lens camera, you know that like... Am I right though? How does that not get old? The mechanical connection, camera noises. Ooh, I didn't even realize this one has a lock on it. This video is in 8K that they're watching. That's incredible. Your computer might explode if you switch it to 8K right now. This is the Sony A1. It is sort of the holy grail of cameras for YouTubers at the moment, at least from my point of view. I've been using Sony stuff for a while now and it has only continued to improve and increase its lead in the space. When they reached out and wanted to partner up on something, I was like, absolutely yes, A1 all day, 8K capable, slow motion at 4K, incredible autofocus with the eye tracking, the digital shoe on the top, the glass that we already own. Again, just a no brainer. So the entire studio has now been converted to Sony A1, and this is what you get in the package if you were to pick one of these up. Now on top of the box, you'll notice we have some uh, special memory. This is CF Express Type A, and it's obviously very high speed. This is a 160 gigabyte card, and it's gonna be capable of recording those exotic formats, and there's a card reader to go with it, and this is such a robust card reader. It may be the most robust I've ever handled and it will still handle a typical SD card so you don't have to have more than one card reader on your desk. It's quite small. Anyhow, you're gonna wanna have those if you're using a Sony A1. Camera unboxing video. I haven't done this since the er my early days on the channel, but they're always uh, quite interesting. You get many booklets. We have a Sony A1 camera strap. We've also got obviously a battery to power it up. This is the uh, Z, a USB type C to type A cable. This is one of those cable relief things. Oh, there's the body. So it'll charge over type C in the camera body or you can use an external charger. We have those lying around as well. So this is a substantial camera, as you can see here. This is a uh, I mean, it's a full frame. So actually in, in that sense, it's not that huge for a full frame camera, but it's beefy. Like it's, you know, you're holding something serious. We have the folding screen here, which can go into this sort of mode if you're handling down here. Over here on the side, we have full size HDMI port. That's a beauty for an environment like ours where we're spitting out multiple video feeds to different places. Not one of these uh, mini HDMI ports or micro HDMI ports where you have to put an adapter on there and then you're worried you're gonna tweak the port. Here you get a full size, nice HDMI so all your cables work without adapters. You, here's your uh, charge port, USB type C port right there. Above that you have analog audio inputs and outputs, so headphone microphone, but what we like to use is actually this Sony digital adapter which gives you XLR inputs and manual control over things like gain like an audio interface essentially. And since this is a digital shoe on the top, 
uh, you're actually getting some pretty high quality analog to digital conversion. I've been blown away with what that's capable of, either with an XLR mic or even with Sony's dedicated shotgun mic that they make for uh, for this shoe. Networking for fast transfer, mostly uh, photographers in a studio environment gonna utilize that. And we have a multi-port. Uh, over here is where you're gonna insert your storage media. You have two slots, so you have a little bit of redundancy there, which is nice. Also, you can see your NFC. We have the very professional, oh my goodness gracious, he just, he just brought it out. We have the uh, very professional Xperia 1 Pro. I think so, Xperia 1 Pro. So anyways, if you have a Sony device like this one, you can hook it up on top of a rig and use it as a much larger viewfinder with some enhanced features. Uh, one thing I like about the camera, you have a lot of customizability on the back as far as setting up your uh, keys for things that you frequently use. This is a 24 to 70 f2.8. Man, we have such a variety at this point. It's kind of wild. I'm speaking into a 12 to 24. This is the f1820 that I mentioned. 70 to 200 over here, f2.8. Oh, we have a 90 mil macro. So this is uh, capable of getting those super close up shots of a uh, variety of product. What's unique about this lens is you can switch between autofocus and manual focus just by shifting this ring, this huge focus ring up. So give you even more minute control when you're shooting, I don't know, the port of a particular gadget or something like that. I have been with Sony for so long. I mean, we are talking a variety of A7s over the years. Plus before that early days YouTube, all the RX cameras, which are the pocket ones, Sony has just been taking video really seriously. I don't, I mean, you're probably aware of that if you're watching this. And when it comes to this form factor, I don't know. It's tough to compete with Sony at this moment in time, and it has been for a little while, as far as video on small form factor cameras and full frame cameras. XAVC HS 8K, and I'm gonna roll a video clip. So this is a mini tour right here. This is kind of like the table cam. It's like a poker cam, like I can just hold something up to it. And if I look up there, this monitor is showcasing whatever it is that I happen to be looking at on that camera. Obviously the monitor below there is showcasing whatever this overhead camera is looking at. This camera right here, I guess you would call this the A cam. This is the one that I happen to be speaking into and there's that audio interface that I mentioned. And Kirk is currently handling the longest lens of the bunch. There you go, this is our newest lens that we've got. Uh, as I mentioned, 70 to 200, lots of reach, fast autofocus, quiet autofocus too, and super smooth zoom, uh, zooming. Look at the zooming. Very well. So look, you don't need 8K cameras to be on YouTube, but you probably want really nice cameras to be on YouTube and certainly having 4K at 120 and also not having these things overheat plus the full size HDMI ports, the versatility as far as the audio inputs are concerned. These things have just been rock solid for both the show here on Unbox Therapy, but also the long form show over there on Lou Later. So I can't think of a better setup for us right now the way we like to utilize having a bunch of cameras, the the slenderness of each one and the usability of each one, the workability of the file formats. Uh, this is just, it's made life a lot easier. So far, so good as far as the A1 is concerned. Today's episode has been sponsored by Omaze. This is the place you can win one of a kind prizes and experiences while supporting charity. And today's prize is a truly special one. You can win one of two seats on the very first Virgin Galactic flight to space. Make history and live out your astronaut dreams on one of the first Virgin Galactic commercial space flights. Experience weightlessness and awe-inspiring views of Earth from space and score a VIP tour of Spaceport America. So if you win this giveaway, you could be one of the first people to go visit space. Just, just think about that for a second, you in space. You know what these tickets go for? You could be hovering over 80 kilometers above Earth, seeing our planet like never before. Now, the key part with Omaze is that there's a portion of the whole thing that goes to charity, and the charity in this case is Space for Humanity. Space for Humanity's mission is to expand access to space 
train leaders of tomorrow and contribute to a culture of interconnectedness. So for your chance to win this truly one of a kind experience and to, to potentially be one of the first people ever to go to space, and to support Space for Humanity, uh, all you gotta do is head over to omaze.com slash unbox therapy. Good luck.